Um, like I said before, my name is Nina Dicker. That is D-I-C-K-E-R, like penis. It is my legal name. It is not a stage name. If you are mentally preparing yourself to hear jokes about my last name, you can actually just visit my YouTube channel and read every comment left by a man. Uh, I get a lot of people online watching me talk about my body and my sexuality, and they think it's cool to call me a slut. I prefer to think of myself as a very competitive bisexual. <laughs> I do have what some people might call an extreme fixation on sex, um, but it's not like a sexy thing, right? It's kind of like, um, like, do you know how some guys get like really obsessed with just like one founding father? <laughs> you look, you look like you get it. Like, you know how, like when they can tell you every single thing there is to know about that one person, but they're not necessarily very passionate about America in general? <laughs> Growing up, I had this compulsive, inexplicable need to know everything there was to know about this subject. So, as a kid, I'd get home from school and I'd spend approximately three to four hours on Pornhub, and I saw everything. <laughs> Straight, gay, the entire Scooby-Doo porno movie, which, by the way, amazing production value. It should really be behind a paywall. Uh, <laughs> But unfortunately, nobody told me what incognito mode was. So one night, my mom decided to borrow my laptop because hers was 100 years old, and she needed to Google a pork recipe. So I walked into the living room as she was typing in P-O-R, and you know how the search bar can just be so very helpful in uh, like auto-filling maybe sites that you visited before? Well, the search bar was just basically like, Phoom. It was just like through the laptop, through the table, into the floor. And I remember seeing my mom see this and she just turned around and she was like, Nina. And I was like, mom, no. She grabs a laptop, like an angry little goblin. And she just looks at me and she goes, what is this? And then she looks around and she goes, bedroom now, because all my siblings were out. So we had to scuttle off to the bedroom. And she threw my laptop in front of me and I was like, oh. Oh my God, what is that? What is that? That's crazy. She was like, it's your fucking search history, Nina. And I was like, oh my God, I didn't know you could see that. And she just starts reading off everything. She's just like, Pornhub? XXX.hamster? Mimi whore? And I was like, well, it's actually, it's actually pronounced meme whore. That's it. <laughs> As a Tumblr page, it's not porn. Well, some of it's porn, but it's predominantly memes. It's pronounced memes. I know it's confusing because it has whore in the title. That's not a porn search. The rest of it, though, is definitely porn. And she's just looking at all my history, and she looks at me, and she's like, Jesus Christ, Nina. You've been touching yourself to this crap? And I'm like, Mom, oh, my God. I'm supposed to be touching myself? <laughs> that makes so much more sense. But I thought I was doing what all the other kids were doing. Building an Excel spreadsheet, mapping out the best sexual positions, dirty talk phrases, and pitches to moan at. Yeah, because I learned there was a big difference between uh, and <laughs> Again, just to clarify, this wasn't a sexy thing. Like, like I, like, like, I didn't view sex as a path to intimacy. I viewed it as an experiment to be conducted and solved. Like, I was going to try every single kind of thing methodically with every single kind of person I could get my hands on. And, hmm, sorry, now that I say that out loud, don't mind me just having a casual realization. Uh, I know, rewind, I know in the beginning I said I was a competitive bisexual, but I'm starting to realize I might not even be bisexual. I might just be mildly autistic. <laughs> but you know what they say? What? <laughs> Why be autistic when you can be on this stick. 
Anyways, my name is Dina Dicker, and I'm your host for the evening.